Sint Martin Dutch pronunciation, Sant Maart N, is an island country in the Caribbean. It is a constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. With a population of 40,120 on an area of 37 square kilometres 14 square miles, it encompasses the southern 40% of the divided island of Saint Martin, while the northern 60% of the island constitutes the French overseas collectivity of Saint Martin. Saint Martin's capital is Philipsburg. Before 10 October 2010, Sint Maarten was known as the Island Territory of Sint Maarten Dutch, Eilandsbied Sint Maarten, and was one of five island territories that constituted the Netherlands Antilles. On 6 and 7 September 2017 the island was hit by Category 5 Hurricane Irma, which caused widespread and significant damage to buildings and infrastructure. A total of two deaths had been reported as of 8 September. By then, Many inhabitants were devoid of basic necessities, and looting had become a serious problem. On 10 October 2017, Princess Juliana International Airport commenced commercial flights. Operation of commercial flights will continue in temporary structures, as the original structure of Princess Juliana International Airport undergoes repairs. Sint Martin has the 14th largest GDP per capita in the world, including territories, when measured by purchasing power parity, over three times as high as its French counterpart. Topic: History. Topic. In 1493, during Christopher Columbus' second voyage to the West Indies, upon first sighting the island he named it Isla de San Martín after Saint Martin of Tours because it was the 11th of November, Saint Martin's day. However, though he claimed it as a Spanish territory, Columbus never landed there, and Spain made the settlement of the island a low priority. The French and Dutch, on the other hand, both coveted the island. While the French wanted to colonize the islands between Trinidad and Bermuda, the Dutch found San Martín a convenient halfway point between their colonies in New Amsterdam present-day New York and Brazil. With few people inhabiting the island, the Dutch easily founded a settlement there in 1631, erecting Fort Amsterdam as protection from invaders. Jan Klaassen van Kampen became its first governor, and soon thereafter the Dutch West India Company began its salt mining operations. French and British settlements sprang up on the island as well. Taking note of these successful colonies and wanting to maintain their control of the salt trade, the Spanish now found St. Martin much more appealing. The Eighty Years' War which had been raging between Spain and the Netherlands provided further incentive to attack. Spanish forces captured St. Martin from the Dutch in 1633, seizing control and driving most or all of the colonists off the island. At Point Blanche, they built what is now Old Spanish Fort to secure the territory. Although the Dutch retaliated in several attempts to win back St. Martin, they failed. Fifteen years after the Spanish conquered the island, the Eighty Years' War ended. Since they no longer needed a base in the Caribbean and St. Martin barely turned a profit, the Spanish lost their inclination to continue defending it. In 1648, they deserted the island. With St. Martin free again, both the Dutch and the French jumped at the chance to re-establish their settlements. Dutch colonists came from St. Eustatius, while the French came from St. Kitts. After some initial conflict, both sides realized that neither would yield easily. Preferring to avoid an all-out war, they signed the Treaty of Concordia in 1648, which divided the island in two. During the treaty's negotiation, the French had a fleet of naval ships offshore, which they used as a threat to bargain more land for themselves. In spite of the treaty, relations between the two sides were not always cordial. Between 1648 and 1816, conflicts changed the border 16 times. The entire island came under effective French control from 1795 when Netherlands became a puppet state under the French Empire until 1815. In the end, the French came out ahead with 53 square kilometers, 20 square miles, 61% against 34 square kilometers, 13 square miles, 39% on the Dutch side. With the new cultivation of cotton, tobacco, and sugar, the French and the Dutch imported a massive number of slaves to work on the plantations. The slave population quickly grew larger than that of the landowners. Subjected to cruel treatment, slaves staged rebellions, and their overwhelming numbers made it impossible to ignore their concerns. In 1848, the French abolished slavery in their colonies including the French side of St. Martin. 
Slaves on the Dutch side of the island protested and threatened to flee to the French side to seek asylum. The local Dutch authorities then freed the colony's slaves. While this decree was respected locally, it was not until 1863 when the Dutch abolished slavery in all of their island colonies that the slaves became legally free. 20th century after abolition of slavery, plantation culture declined and the island's economy suffered. In 1939, St. Martin received a major boost when it was declared a duty-free port. In 1941, the island was shelled by a German U-boat during World War II. The Dutch side began focusing on tourism in the 1950s, with the French side following suit two decades later. Because of being split up into a Dutch and a French part, the tourist boom was heavier on St. Martin than on the surrounding islands. Its Princess Juliana International Airport became one of the busiest in the Eastern Caribbean. For much of this period, St. Martin was governed by business tycoon Claude Wathy of the Democratic Party. The island's demographics changed dramatically during this period as well. The island's population increased from a mere 5,000 people to around 60,000 people in the mid-1990s. Immigration from the neighboring Lesser Antilles, Curaçao, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, the United States, Europe, and Asia turned the native population into a minority. St. Martin became an «island territory» Islandsbied in Dutch of the Netherlands Antilles in 1983. Before that date, St. Martin was part of the island territory of the Windward Islands, together with Saba and St. Eustatius. The status of an island territory entails considerable autonomy summed up in the island regulation of the Netherlands Antilles. The island territory of St. Martin was ruled by an island council, an executive council, and a lieutenant governor Dutch, appointed by the Dutch Crown. On 5 September 1995, Hurricane Luis hammered the islands causing extensive damage 35 years to the day after Hurricane Donna. Then 22 years and one day later, September 6, 2017, the island was hit by Category 5 Hurricane Irma which caused widespread devastation. 21st century in 1994, the Kingdom of the Netherlands and France signed the Franco-Dutch Treaty on St. Martin Border Controls, which allows for joint Franco-Dutch border controls on so-called risk flights. After some delay, the treaty was ratified in November 2006 in the Netherlands, and subsequently entered into force on 1 August 2007. Though the treaty is now in force, its provisions are not yet implemented as the working group specified in the treaty is not yet installed. On 10 October 2010, St. Martin became a constituent country Dutch, Land Sint Martin within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, making it a constitutional equal partner with Aruba, Curaçao, and the Netherlands proper. St. Martin has been assigned the ISO 3166-1 Alpha 2 Country Codes of SXM and SX, and the SX Internet CCTLD became available to register on 15 November 2012. The combined population of the two territories has continued to grow, albeit at a slower rate, and as of 2013 around 75,000. <laughs> Effects of Hurricane Irma Topic. Hurricane Irma caused extensive damage in September 2017. The Prime Minister of the Netherlands told the news media on 8 September that the airport in St. Martin was again ready to receive flights and that aid, as well as police officers and military personnel, were on their way. The Prime Minister of St. Martin had already asked the Dutch government for extended relief assistance which began to arrive on 8 September. Reports on 9 September indicated that 70% of the infrastructure on the Dutch part had been destroyed. The government issued a tropical storm warning on 8 September since the Category 4 Hurricane Jose was approaching. Princess Juliana Airport was extensively damaged but reopened on a partial basis in two days to allow incoming relief flights and for flights that would take evacuees to other islands. The government of the Netherlands was sending aid, as well as additional police and military, since looting was a serious problem. A statement by the Prime Minister summarized the situation on 8 September. We've lost many, many homes. Schools have been destroyed. 
We foresee a loss of the tourist season because of the damage that was done to hotel properties, the negative publicity that one would have that it's better to go somewhere else because it's destroyed. So that will have a serious impact on our economy." At the time, preparations were being made as Hurricane Jose approached the island. Government estimates on 9 September indicated that 70% of houses were badly damaged or destroyed, much of the population was living in shelters pending the arrival of Jose. Thankfully, this second hurricane did not have a significant impact on the island, widespread looting had started and a state of emergency was announced, some 230 soldiers from the Netherlands were patrolling. Additional Dutch troops were expected. By 10 September, some 1,200 Americans had been evacuated to Puerto Rico from St. Martin by military aircraft during a time of looting and violence. On that date, Royal Caribbean International said that the company was sending its Adventure of the Seas to St. Martin and to St. Thomas to provide supplies and to offer evacuation services. The ship arrived on the island on 10 September with water, ice, garbage bags, clothing and canned food. She evacuated 320 people. By the 11th of September, King Willem Alexander had already arrived in Curaçao and was scheduled to visit St. Martin, St. Eustatius and Saba. A survey by the Dutch Red Cross estimated that nearly a third of the buildings in St. Martin had been destroyed and that over 90% of structures on the island had been damaged. <laughs> Post-hurricane rebuilding a report in late March 2018 indicated that the airport was able to handle some flights and some service had resumed from the US, Canada and Europe. A new departure lounge was being used during rebuilding of the original facility. The General Aviation Building was being used for passengers arriving on the island. Telecommunications, including Wi-Fi had been restored on the island, 95% of customers were receiving electricity and drinking water was readily available on the island. Some tourist accommodations were open, with 27 operating and 36 said to be ready some time later this year. Cruise ships were arriving, a full 14 were accommodated the week of February 18, 2018. Topic. Government and politics Topic. The Constitution of St. Martin was unanimously adopted by the Island Council of St. Martin on 21 July 2010. Elections for a new Island Council were held on 17 September 2010, since the number of seats was increased from 11 to 15. The newly elected Island Council became the Estates of St. Martin on 10 October. Eugene Holliday was appointed as the first Governor of St. Martin Dutch, governor, by the Council of Ministers of the Kingdom of the Netherlands in September 2010. He also assumed office on 10 October 2010. <inaudible> <inaudible> Current composition of the Estates of St. Martin <inaudible> Parliamentary elections were held on 26 February 2018. The election was contested by six parties. <inaudible> <inaudible> Corruption In 1978, the government of the Netherlands Antilles installed a research committee on the Windward Islands Dutch, Commissie van Onderzoek Bovenwinds Islanden to investigate claims of corruption in the island government. Even though the report issued by this commission was damaging for the island's government, measures were not put into place to curb corruption, arguably because the government of the Netherlands Antilles depended on the support of Waithi. S. Democratic Party in the Estates of the Netherlands Antilles. In August 1990, the public prosecutor of the Netherlands Antilles started an investigation into the alleged ties between the island government of St. Martin and the Sicilian Mafia, and in 1991 the Court of Audit of the Netherlands Antilles issued a report which concluded that the island government of St. Martin was ailing. In the government and parliament of the Netherlands, the call for measures became louder and louder. With Dutch pressure, the government of the Netherlands Antilles installed the Pourier Commission tasked with investigating the state of affairs of the island government of St. Martin in December 1991. Its report concluded that the island was in a severe financial crisis, that rules of democratic decision-making were continuously broken, and that the island government constituted an oligarchy. In short, the island government failed completely according to the report. 
After long negotiations, the Kingdom government enacted a general measure of Kingdom administration Dutch, Algemeen Maatregel van Rijksbester in early 1993, placing St. Martin under direct supervision of the Kingdom. Although originally meant for one year, the order in council for the Kingdom was eventually extended until 1 March 1996, though much has changed since, allegations of criminal activities continue to plague St. Martin. In 2004, the Minister of Justice of the Netherlands Antilles asked the Scientific Research and Documentation Centre Dutch, Wetenschappelijk Onderzoek en Documentatiecentrum of the Dutch Ministry of Justice to conduct research into organised crime in St. Martin. The report concluded that money laundering and cocaine trade are widespread on St. Martin. It also alleged that money from the island was used to finance Hamas, its associate Holy Land Foundation, and the Taliban. In April 2009, former Commissioner Louis Leviest was convicted and sentenced to an 18 month prison sentence by the St. Martin Court of First Instance on account of forgery, fraud, and bribery. He was later acquitted of forgery and of fraud by the Common Court of Justice of the Netherlands Antilles and Aruba, but not of bribery. Demographics In the 2011 Netherlands Antilles census, the population of the island territory was 33,609. Births and deaths Settlements Topic Philipsburg 1327 inhabitants Lower Prince's Quarter 8143 inhabitants Col de Sac 7593 inhabitants Col Bay 5594 inhabitants Upper Prince's Quarter 3139 inhabitants Little Bay, Fort Amsterdam, 3,093 inhabitants. Simpson Bay, 596 inhabitants. Lowlands, 348 inhabitants. Topic: Religion. Topic. Topic: Languages. Topic. English is the day-to-day -day administrative language and language of communication in St. Martin, and the first language of the majority. The government uses Dutch when communicating with the Dutch government and formerly did so with the Netherlands Antilles government. Local signage uses both Dutch and English. The government continues to produce Dutch language documents. There were English medium and Dutch medium schools on St. Martin, and the Dutch government policy towards St. Martin and other SSS islands promoted English medium education. As per the 2001 census there were far more Spanish speakers than Dutch speakers, each group was 14.8% and 4.2%, respectively. Thus, St. Martin is a polyglot society, they are simultaneous bilinguals in Dutch and English, and among them are speakers of Spanish and French. Linguist Linda Andrea Richardson stated in 1983 that Dutch was a dead language. In St. Martin, some residents, including Arubans and St. Martiners who lived in Aruba, speak Papiamento. Culture The official languages are Dutch and English. A local English-based Creole known as Virgin Islands Creole is also spoken. An annual regatta is also held over three days culminating in the first weekend in March. Among the leading cultural artists of the island are Isidore, Mighty Dow, York, Kaisonian, Panman, Roland Richardson, Impressionist painter, Nicole de Weaver, dancer, Broadway star, Susha Heen, choreographer, Lasana M. Seku, poet, author, independence advocate, Clara Reyes, choreographer, Tanny and the Boys, string band music group. The annual St. Martin Carnival starts in April and ends in May. The Grand Carnival Parade that takes place on the Dutch side is the largest parade of the island's two carnivals. The annual St. Martin Book Fair takes place during the first weekend of June, featuring emerging and famous authors from the island, the Caribbean region, and from around the world. Ank Klomp wrote in, St. Martin, Communal Identities on a Divided Caribbean Island, that St. Martin lacked a Dutch cultural identity. Sport and recreation Topic. 
Popular team sports in St. Martin include baseball, cricket, and soccer. Recreational fishing, golf, and water sports including diving, kayaking, snorkeling, and yachting are popular amongst tourists. The St. Martin Soccer Association was founded in 1986. The organization is not a member of FIFA, but became an associate member of CONCACAF in 2002, and a full member in 2013. The national football team debuted in 1989, and plays its home games at the Raoul Illage Sports Complex, which has a 3,000 spectator capacity. After an initial period of popularity during the 1990s, including an appearance at the 1993 Caribbean Cup, interest in football declined, with the national team playing its last official match in 2000 against Dominica. However, St. Martin is scheduled to return to international competition in March 2016. In the 2017 Caribbean Cup qualification tournament, the St. Martin Cricket Association is a member of the Leeward Islands Cricket Association, which is in turn a member of the West Indies Cricket Board. With rare exceptions, for instance, the Stanford 2020, the national cricket team plays only against other LICA members, though St. Martiners may go on to play for the Leeward Islands team at regional level and are eligible for both the West Indies and the Netherlands internationally. The primary venue for cricket is the Charles Vlaun Cricket Field. Colin Hamer was the first St. Martiner to play first class cricket, while Daniel Dorham was the first Islander to play at international level, debuting for the Netherlands against Ireland in the Intercontinental Cup in July 2013 at the age of 15, also becoming the first Street Martiner to take a first class five wicket haul. In 2016, Kisi Carty became the first Street Martiner to play representative cricket for the West Indies for the West Indies under 19s. Cardi was the man of the final at the 2016 Under-19 World Cup, and was later described by the Prime Minister, William Marlin, as having "...brought the name of St. Martin to international acclaim." Prior to cricket becoming popular, baseball was preferred. No national team existed, although St. Martiners were eligible to play for the Netherlands Antilles baseball team before its dissolution. Several St. Martiners have passed through the American baseball system, playing at college level or in the minor leagues. Alan Haley played college baseball for the South Alabama Jaguars and was drafted by the Chicago White Sox in the 30th round of the 1995 draft, reaching Class A advanced in the minor leagues. Three others, Rene Leverett, Mark Ramirez, and Rafael Skeet, were signed as free agents by major league teams during their careers, but played only in the minor leagues. Topic. Popular culture Topic. The island is famous for its runway at Princess Juliana International Airport, in which landing aircraft pass within less than 35 meters of Maho Beach below, due to the close proximity of the runway to the ocean. The planes appear to land dangerously close to beach goers, so the beach and airport have become a popular place for people to view aeroplane landings. In July 2017 a New Zealander died from head injuries after being propelled backwards from a jet engine blast. Topic. Education Topic. Topic. Primary and secondary schools Topic. Public schools include Primary Charles Leopold Bell School Coal Bay. Leonald Connor School Cape Bay. Martin Luther King Jr. Primary School, Lower Prince's Quarter. Ruby Labega Primary, Retreat Estate. Orange School, Phillipsburg. Marie G. De Weaver School, Hope Estate. The sole public secondary school is the Saint Martin Vocational Training School in South Reward. Prince Willem Alexander School in Saint Peter's is the special education school. Private schools subsidized by the Saint Martin government include Primary. Hillside Christian School Street. Peters Mac Braula F. Mellard Campus Cole de Sac and Rev. John A. Gums Campus Betty's Estate Seven-Day Adventist Cole Bay. Senior. Borgia Primary Phillipsburg. Senior. Magda Primary Street. Peters Senior. Marie Lawrence Middle Region. Senior. Regina Primary Simpson Bay. Saint Dominic Primary, South Reward. Saint Joseph Primary, Phillipsburg. The Asha Stevens Hillside Christian School, Cahill. 
Secondary Milton Peters College South Reward has HAVO, PKL, PBL, TKL, and VWO classes St. Martin Academy Main Campus in Cul-de-Sac, PSVE in Ebenezer Sundial School Phillipsburg Previously residents had to complete secondary studies in Aruba and or Curaçao. Prior to 1976 St. Martin had two secondary schools, the Government Secondary School John Phillips School and the Catholic Secondary School Pastor Nguyen Huis School. Phillips was both a Mavo, ETAO school while Huis was a Mavo school. The Foundation Stichting Vortgesit Onderweich van de Bovenwinds Islanden SVOBE, established on February 20, 1974, was created as the neutral governing body for a new school created by the merger of Phillips and Huis schools. MPC, the merged school, opened on August 17, 1976. The Caribbean International Academy, founded in 2003 as a preparatory private boarding and day school on the island of St. Martin. Catering to children from kindergarten to grade 12, CIA is also the only school offering Canadian, Ontario High School Diploma OSSD, and 90% of their graduates go on to attend universities in Europe, Canada and the United States. Topic. Colleges and universities Topic. Most residents who attend tertiary institutions do so in Curaçao and or European Netherlands. The American University of the Caribbean School of Medicine AUC, founded in 1978, was previously located on Montserrat. Because of the eruption of the Soufriere Hills volcano in 1995, AUC moved its campus to St. Martin later that year. A permanent campus was completed in 1998 in Kupkoi. The University of St. Martin USM was located in Phillipsburg. The University of St. Eustatius School of Medicine, founded in 1999, was previously located on St. Eustatius. In September 2013, the University of St. Eustatius moved its campus to Cole Bay, St. Martin. Topic. Libraries. Topic. Phillipsburg Jubilee Library is in Phillipsburg. Topic. Transportation and economy Topic. Air transportation to St. Martin and the whole island is served by Princess Juliana International Airport, which is well known for its very low final approach landings close to a popular beach at the end of the runway. The Supreme Court of the Netherlands ruled in a well-known case on the jet blast on this beach. Winair Windward Islands Airways has its headquarters on the grounds of the airport, there are no railroads on the island. St. Martin's economy is mostly based on tourism, either from tourists staying on the island or day tourists from the many cruise lines that dock in the Phillipsburg Harbour. In 2014, St. Martin had more gaming machines per resident than any other country in the world. Topic. See also Topic. Postage stamps and postal history of St. Martin List of divided islands List of designated monuments in St. Martin Le Grand Marché Mary Star of the Sea Church, Simpson Bay Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Gert Oostendie 1998, Paradise Overzee, de Nederlandse, Caribbean and Nederland. Amsterdam, Bert Bakker. Gert Oostendie and Ing Klinkers 2001, Neyende Koninkrijksbanden, Het Nederlandse de Kolonisatiebeleid in de Caribbean, 1940-2000. Amsterdam, Amsterdam University Press. Joseph H. Lake, Jr. 2004, Friendly Anger, The Rise of the Labor Movement in St. Martin. St. Martin, House of Nazi Publishers, https colon slash slash www.amazon.com, Friendly Anger Labor Movement Martin, DP, 0913441414. Lasana M. Seku, ed., 1997, Third Printing, National Symbols of St. Martin, A Primer. St. Martin, House of Nazi Publishers Louis Dusenson 2000, 2004. 
An Introduction to Government, Island Territory of St. Martin. St. Martin, House of Nazi Publishers, https colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash Lewis dash Dusenson slash e slash b o o one camlia slash ref equals dp underscore byline underscore cont underscore book underscore one. Richardson, Linda Andrea. The Socio Linguistic Situation in St. Martin. In, Carrington, Lawrence D. Editor. Studies in Caribbean Language. Society for Caribbean Linguistics, 1983. p. 63-69. Rhoda Arundel 2014 Language, Culture, and Identity in St. Martin. St. Martin, House of Nazi Publishers. http colon slash slash www.spdbooks.org slash products slash 9780988825222 slash language dash culture dash and dash identity dash in dash st dash martin dot aspx topic external links topic Government official website of the St. Martin Government Organizations Philipsburg Jubilee Public Library St. Martin Chamber of Commerce and Industry official site St. Martin Hospitality and Trade Association official trade association site House of Nazi Publishers Book Publishing Research PR Foundation Universities American University of the Caribbean School of Medicine University of St. Martin Secondary Education Milton Peters College Caribbean International Academy Learning Unlimited Preparatory School St. Dominic High School St. Martin Academy Sundial School Tourism St. Martin Travel Guide from Wikivoyage St. Martin The World Factbook Central Intelligence Agency St. Martin Tourist Bureau Official Site St. Martin Hospitality and Trade Association Visitor Information St. Martin Tourism Map Visitor Information Princess Juliana International Airport Official Site St. Martin Excursions, News and Opinion Today Newspaper, Local Daily Newspaper St. Martin Daily Herald, Local Newspaper St. Martin Island Times Street. Martin News Network